Hello everybody, this is Dr. Jean-Guy. Here you are for another uh, tip of the week. This week the question is, when should my kids be checked for the first time? And I would like to uh, take a little bit of time today to explain this because I think that this is quite important. As a matter of fact, at our office, uh, at both of our offices, uh, if you have a spine, I always like to uh, tell jokes to people that if you have a spine, you qualify for a checkup. And what that means is uh, even little kids uh, should have their spine checked and uh, the sooner the better. And the reason for that is because according to Dr. Abraham Tobin, he's from Harvard Medical School, the last book that he wrote uh, was about birth trauma. There's others that have been writing about this topic. But what he says, uh, what he was saying is there's 80% of the kids when they're born, they have their first, what we call the subluxation in chiropractic or misalignment of the spine, especially in the upper neck area. And the reason for that is if you have a natural uh, birth, uh, even if it was a long delivery or forceps or vacuum extractor, any of those type of delivery, what happened is when they use some forces, here's my little baby Julie, here's Julie, right? When you use some forces to pull on the baby's head, either with a vacuum extractor or a forceps, or even if it's a natural delivery, when they're pulling, what happened is uh, even a, you know, a force will can cause some misalignment in the upper neck area and as a result some of you parents know exactly what i'm talking about because you've had a baby that uh, you know has a hard time to sleep at night uh, will not sleep well many of those children as soon as they're born uh, they will start having ear infection and uh, you have kids that they can nurse on one side but they can't nurse on the other because they can't turn their head right so if they can't turn their head they're gonna have a hard time nursing so there's a lot of things that kids will experience that you'll be able to see. Some of them, you'll see their head, it's like it's bobbling. They're, they're, they're not really strong. And the reason for that is because they've had some micro damage into their upper neck area. And as a result of that, they are really weak, right? And when we check those children, it's really easy for us as chiropractors. What we do is we look at their posture and uh, you know, you look at them to see if their head is tipped over or if they're, they might be looking in the corner or even in the car seat, the parents will tell you their head is always tipped over like this. Even when they bring them back, they can't hold it. And what we do is we do with a very gentle force, we usually will use our pinky to apply a force into their cervical spine, which is their upper neck area, which is very gentle to realign their spine and then allow their nervous system to start functioning better. And as a result, you know, I have parents telling me, you know, I wish I would have known a long time ago because you know, little Johnny is sleeping better, or little Johnny now doesn't have this uh, projectile vomiting anymore, or, um, you know, in 16 years, um, you know, not to brag about this, but, uh, you know, I mean, it's known to the chiropractic community that when kids have ear infection, uh, they start on their chiropractic care that ear infection just start going away. And one of the main reasons for that is because the eustachian tube, which is in your inner ear, uh, you have some nerves in there that are being fed by area from the upper neck area. And as those kids start on their chiropractic care, you see all of those things start disappearing and they can grow on a, you know, on a good spine. And just as a side note here, this is not for little kids, but obviously when the kid starts playing sports, right? I just want to share this with you because most people don't know that. I just cannot imagine my kids not having chiropractic care playing sports, especially if they play contact sports. It is known that when kids are playing soccer in Europe, that there's studies that says that kids will have, they're gonna start having arthritis in their spine 20 to 30 years earlier than the normal population. And what that means that every time that they hit the ball with their head, it will just jams all their joints into their cervical spine, which is their upper neck area. And as a result of that, they're gonna start having, you know, damage, the damage is done. Right? They're going to start having build up scar tissue into their spine and they're going to have earlier degeneration. So for many reasons, your children, just like you, right, should have their spine checked you know, as soon as possible to just make sure that they can grow up you know, having a healthy spine, a healthy nervous system, and so their body can, you know, can function better. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, tip of the week and uh, we'll uh, talk to you soon.